Hey guys, how's it going? This is Lou from Adrift in Tokyo, and I am back. I'm re recording on this on my iMac or my MacBook Air because I am I'm beat from all the team building we've been doing over the last two days. And I apologize for the poor picture quality. I just got out of the shower. Um, man, what a, the last couple of days this has been. I had to get in front of the camera. I, this was the last day of the team building, so I had to talk about you know, the experience and what everything was like, but, um, I have, I, I really, I'm at a loss for words for how much fun and, um, close we've gotten over these past few days. So let me rewind a little bit. So Hitotsubashi, uh, MBA does a team building every single year for every single incoming class. And we go out to Mount Takao, which is West in Tokyo. And we just go out there and they tell you we're going to go do um, low element challenges and high element challenges. And you're going to get to know your teammates, your, your cohorts, etc. And so it's a two-day thing. We stay over at a hotel and then you go home. And so right off the bat, we start doing all these activities to help understand people's names, to get to know each other's backgrounds better. We're getting paired off, paired off with buddies. And, um, I mean, th this is immediate. Like, we, we, we start just, um, you know, getting to know each other. And um, so what we had to do was we go to the campus in Tokyo, hop on a bus. And, I mean, even when we got on the bus, people are so excited to meet each other. And people are so friendly and professional and just really wanting to get to know each other. Hop on the bus. It's about an hour uh, bus ride over to Takao. As soon as we get there, we start knowing, we get to know each other's names, and we start to go into the low elements challenge. And so, picture you're in like a retreat type environment, and there's nothing really around except the facilities. And so you go outside, and all you you, you have like a, a field, and then in the background there's like these um, wooden structures with ropes and wires and pillars that are connected and kind of mishmash into all different shapes. And there are these little courses around this massive structure. Like there's a wire, a wire course that's on the ground. There's a couple of platforms over to the left. And, th and so right off the bat, they say, you know, you know, get into your gym clothes. We're going to, you know, put all your valuables, your phones, everything into the containers. We're going to go out there and we're going to team build for two days. And so, okay, to give you an example, we get right off the bat, we get split off into teams. So there's about... 60 to 70 of us and so we start getting split up and like one of the first courses is like you are on two different platforms and you've got a group of people uh, over here and they're on this this platform and you've got a rope in between and so you've got to get all the people over here over to this platform which is empty only by using the uh, the rope uh, over here and so what you're doing is you send one person over uh, across the rope and they get over to the platform, and the other people coming over um, on the rope, you know, they're gonna hop on over if they're hesitant or nervous about you know, falling. I mean, it's it's on the ground, but the guy who just went to the platform is gonna help them. And so we have to successively get these people over there. And if anyone touches the ground or falls off the rope, you gotta start over. Um, we start doing exercises where, um, what was the other one that we did? We, you know. Um, uh, we had to do something with uh, with those platforms as well. There's something that's uh, that's uh, eluding my mind right now, but you know, just you know, the, the, the conversations we have with folks, you know, over lunchtime, you know, the diversity in this program is really impressive. So let me give you an example. I mean, you talk to some people, and you know, you got you got folks working in Japan from other countries who can speak Japanese pretty darn well. You've got folks who come from different countries. Uh, there's there's a guy who um, I don't mention any names and I, I don't give away any information, but he played for like his uh, um, national basketball team. And so we've got a lot of talented guys in here, and so you know even by lunchtime we do all these kind of low element courses, and I mean we know most of our backgrounds already. And over lunch people are chatting up. You know we're, I mean you've got different. Like, like like groups of people who are staying in the dorms because they know each other already. But even then, like people are friendly. People are talking. They want to get to know you. Um, great experience. Great experience. I I it's it's I haven't met this good of a group of people 
in one place in a really long time. It's been it's been a fantastic it's been a blast. And so we continue in the afternoon on the first day, and now we start doing some uh, you know some other team building exercises. But it kind of it kind of winds down, and we we head on over to the uh, gymnasium to do like buddy introductions like we got paired off as buddies and and now we start doing um like buddy introductions so like my my buddy was from like south korea he was interested in the steel industry and you know blah, uh, yada, yada yada and so we get to know each other and then we pack up and go over to the hotel and as you probably can guess from my facebook post we checked into the hotel and you know you can't go a day in japan let alone a day in an mba program where you're like okay we had a good first day that's all going to sleep. You know, you got to go out. You got to have a drink. You got to, you know, kind of solidify that team building, if you will. And so we go out in, um, uh, what is it? Uh, what town? Hachioji, which is kind of a main hub in Western Tokyo. And so we got one of the uh, awesome Japanese guy. He uh, finds a, an izakaya or a Japanese bar that can accommodate 30 plus people and so picture you know 30 plus people from india china korea um the u.s just hanging out in the hotel lobby kind of itching to get a you know uh, a, a pint in or you know a drink and so we're sitting there and finally he gets off the phone comes over you know true japanese style it's like oh we've got a place so we walk down a couple of blocks and you know, wouldn't you know it, there's a massive table in the back that is, is just the thing we needed. It, it fit every single one of us, and we had a couple of beers, a couple of snacks, and it was it was awesome. I mean, it's, a couple of folks were tired. I mean, I was tired. Um, I had a headache before I was going into that from the, the day before. I was the, the morning and the afternoon before. And so, you know, we, we bunked up. We had uh, it was kind of same-sex rooms, three people to a room. But uh, even that, you get to know people in like uh, sub groups, and so I get to know the two guys, one from Malaysia, one from the Philippines. It's uh, awesome, awesome times. So the next morning, you know, we get up and we do the high elements. And so again, think back to that structure I was talking to you about. We head on over to this facility, this retreat in Takao, and you've got these rope um, uh, structures and, and rope bridges and, and wires going every which way and so it's like okay now you have to trust your teammates and you've got to form um, you know a belay team um, you know, supporting the rope and harness and you, everyone's gonna put on a harness and you're gonna get locked in with um, uh, I think it's a cannibal or can cantilever or whatever the lock is with a little with a little tie and, and you, you can uh, latch it onto a harness it starts with a C but um, so now we're starting to swing people up. We're literally we're getting like a five minute training, good safety exercise, and then we're we're just we're just you know not rocketing people up, but sending people up on these ropes, and we're you know they're trusting us to do a good job on the ground, supporting them, giving them instructions, and they've got to walk across this rope bridge, or they've got to um, make their way over to this structure and then swing across onto a net. And um, we're cheering everyone on. People's having people are having a great time, and I mean it's it's serious because you make a mistake, someone can fall and get hurt. Um, they can bang their head on something. They can chip their tooth on something, and so you're cheering people on, and yet in the same breath you're um, you know, staying focused. And so we do these exercises. The first exercise that I did was you know I climbed up this wooden log. Um, to, I did actually did that rope swing I was talking about. I climbed into the center of the massive structure, and there's a little like swing rope. So I latched onto that, and I swung across, and I, I jumped into this net, and then they lowered me down. And then we did this other exercise. Me and a, uh, another classmate were on this like rope block ladder. Where picture, you know, there's there's a block. And then there, the supports are it's just rope, and then it's about five feet, and then another block, and then the space in between that is another six feet, then a block, then seven feet, and a block. So it continuously gets wider and wider. And so you've got to figure out a way to get these two people up to the top of this rope ladder, and it's going up, you know, 
um, it's like 40, 50, 60 feet in the air. And you think it would be easy. You look and you know, okay, like, um, no, it's not that terribly, you know, there's no really huge, like, big people around. Most of us are pretty, you know, fit, lean, whatever. But man, you know, get hoisting yourself up and going up this freaking ladder is crazy. And so that, that I'm bumped and bruised. I don't know. You know, I've got all these like marks on me, my legs all banged up, you know, listen to me. But man, it was, it was a blast. Um, what else? So that was the easy part of the second high elements day. And then it gets, it gets harder. And so in the second part, we've got to now, well, they split us up, you know, into two groups. And now we've got to kind of work as a team. We've got to get across this wire bridge by supporting each other hand in hand and no one can touch us front and back it's only you know the support you get from your teammates you walk across this bridge and so we you know, imagine five people across a thin wire um, holding hands and that's the only support that you've got and you've got to work together communicate we're throwing up people we're throwing people up to walls we've got the basketball guy trying to jump and grab the other six foot four guy from uh, India and people are working so hard, man. It was awesome. And, you know, we, we did we did accomplish a lot. The last challenge, we were supposed to get this big, massive, it's got to be like a 15-foot diameter ball, twenty you know, 10 to 15-foot diameter ball, um, up to the top of this massive structure that I'm talking about, using five individual climbers to kind of communicate, toss the ball back and forth or whatever. And one of our uh, classmates came up with the idea was like, let's make a net out of the structure and kind of hoist the ball up there. And it worked. Um, but yeah, I got a couple of minutes left. All in all, awesome day. Um, great group of people. I look forward to these classes so much. The only re regret that I've got is that after a year, you know, um, we're going to go, we're going to go out and do our, you know, do our thing. We're going to we'll say goodbye to each other. You know, we always still have the, uh, the memories that we're going to generate over this year, but I can tell right off the bat that it's going to, it's going to be good. You know, we're going to have our tough times. We're going to be, you know, studying hard, doing our case studies and whatnot, but it, you know, we'll get through it. So I'm going to have some dinner. I took my shower. As you can tell, I'm very tired. Got to get up tomorrow, catch the train, and we're going to continue with the orientation. This goes from Friday all the way until Tuesday, and then Wednesday our official classes start. So anyway, stay tuned. I'm going to try to take a few more pictures you know, as I get over to the classroom and kind of take some more video out and about. Still haven't found an apartment yet. I'm still looking. I applied to two residences in Nakano which is Western Tokyo, but I just got a call today that I was rejected for the first one. That was the one I liked more, but it was a lot more expensive. The second place, which the guy tells me is very he's very positive on, is no key money or no gift money and no agency fee. So I save about, you know, a couple of thousand dollars there, which is fine by me. Uh, more sushi, right? So anyway, um, Great classmates, great times, and uh, I wish you I wish you guys could all be here to experience it with me. Anyway, talk to you soon, and have a great day. Turning Japanese, I think I'm turning Japanese.